Hey guys, I want to talk about um, probably a sore subject. It's variables on the job sites. What do I mean by that? So we came out, gave you an estimate, um, gave you a scope of work, what we're going to do, um, what we promised to do, what you wanted, everything's in the scope of work. We get on the job site and just say we're painting a concrete floor. So we're painting the concrete floor. We look over, there's moisture pushing up through your floor. Okay. At that point, the whole scope of the job changes. It's not something we could have seen on the estimate. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe we didn't realize that this is going to happen or that's going to happen. We don't just know every little scenario that can happen on a job. As a professional, we adjust. We adjust on site. Um, could be a wall in your house that we're painting that we didn't see. We weren't there at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and see all the light shines right down the wall. And now you have um, either a lot more prep or maybe you, we switch to a different uh, sheen so it's not so shiny and you can't see all the imperfections. What happens is with some customers, um, they see these little changes on site and they go, whoa, 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 whoa. You're lying to me. You never told me that. Um, it's not in the work order. Why are you changing the print? Why are you changing the paint? Why is the prep different? Why didn't you do A when you said you do A? Well, guys, jobs are, are different. Jobs aren't uh, looking on YouTube to see how you paint a floor or how you paint cabinets. It's not how every company is going to do it. The good thing about hiring a professional is when um, this little error might happen or a little uh, trouble on the job, they can adjust quickly on the fly without question, and they can, they can change it and put, you, put the job going in the right direction again. And it's very important. So processes can be different than what is actually written on the scope of work. It happens. We have to make those adjustments and you guys have to be flexible. I'm talking about customers and clients. You have to be flexible. You have to know that stuff's going to happen. Um, paint choices can change. I just went over that. If you have a lot of light coming down the room, we're not at the house doing an estimate for 24 hours. We can't see every little subtle change. Um, if we're doing an exterior estimate, I'm doing it from the ground. I'm not up on ladders looking at every little surface. Think you can get up to the top of a ladder, look down, and now there's rock. You didn't see it on the estimate. It's not up to the contractor to just eat every little minutial change on your estimate. There's going to be some flexibility for some additional work. That doesn't mean it's an open book for us to come out and just charge you extra. And generally, we'll put wood repairs as an extra on the proposal. Um, it's just to be prepared for it. Um, prep can change. So prep on a concrete floor. Floors are notorious. Even after we paint floors, um, things can happen. We had a floor that we just did. Um, you can't see anything wrong with it. We did a moisture test on it. Um, everything was great. We prepped it, did the floor. Well, gas has come through. There's nothing you can do about it. They outgas. What that looks like is kind of, uh, if you see bubbles and lava, You'll have outgassing come through. It's purely cosmetic, but obviously you want your floor to look good. So we had to go back, just grind them off real quick and put another coat on and you're good. But in the meantime, a customer sees that they freak out. My floor's uh, failing, which isn't the case um, because they went on YouTube and tried to listen to, to people who are talking about it on there. So have a little flexibility. Things are going to change on a job site just as they do in life. Um, just ease up a little bit. Everything will be all right.